cross over and go to Kumasi now. We we'll join our colleague Erastos Asari Donko, uh, who is joining us uh, live with, with an update. We know that uh, there's been some demolition exercises uh, carried following the floods that we experienced recently with the rains. It has been really horrible with some deaths recorded. Erastas Asari Donko is joining us because apparently there are uh, houses uh, and structures sitting in waterways demolished. And he's joining us from one of the venues where a demolition exercise was carried out. Erastas, good morning to you. Uh, what, 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 how does it look? Uh, have people returned to this particular venue where the exercise was carried out? Well, as you can see in my shots, um, th this was done uh, yesterday. And you can see uh, the demolition that has gone on here. This is Alagat Junction, uh, precisely. And the NADMO officials believe that these uh, squatters and the illegal structures that have been constructed uh, at this place and along the Abuabo drain, which is to my uh, right on this side, uh, contribute a lot to the dumping of solid waste in the main storm drain which carries uh, flood waters uh, when it rains and so uh, they are demolishing all structures they want all uh, habitation along the uh, banks of the storm drain to be removed immediately so they did this uh, within the last two days uh, here at Alaga Junction uh, they're asking everybody to remove their uh, wares from along the storm drain. This morning, they are going on that side, uh, just beyond the uh, road you see here. They are going beyond that. That is where the storm drain is. There are lots of structures, uh, I will refer to the city, built along the storm drain, where they dump used fridges and e-waste, electronic waste, in the main drain, they are going to demolish this tra those structures this morning. We are also understanding that there are a lot of buildings sited in waterways, obstructing the free flow of water in Kumase, Bokrum. Uh, we are having some around Dabain and other areas. They are saying that they are looking at their documents. Those without permits will also follow suit. So uh, we are hoping to see in the coming days uh, some demolition being done along certain areas in Kumase to reduce the uh, stress that people go through when it rains. Um, er Erastos, but this exercise would not be new. This is something that we see, especially when places are flooded. How, how especially the, the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, how sure are they that this is really the answer to the floods? In fact, the, the same question is being asked. Um, uh, residents are asking. In fact, people who stay at this area are also uh, challenging what the NADMO officials are doing here because they believe that even if there is a contribution uh, by these uh, uh, people who have sighted structures along the Abu Abu drain, they believe it's just a minute uh, a contributory factor uh, to the entire flooding situation because the real uh, 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 contributory factor are structures sited and in uh, waterways and these are concrete structures whole buildings sitting directly in the course of the water there is one such building just uh, across the street here is a gas filling station the people believe that this gas filling station has re is really sitting on a drain and so when it rains all the water is coming up from a room to that portion gets blocked uh, totally and then it overflows spills into uh, the road there's also another one sitting directly the course of water at Bokrum and other areas these are the major ones that they believe not most should be tackling at the moment and so if you ask me people are asking the same questions that um, is that the uh, main solution no the solution is there and the not more I uh, should have the willpower to be able to do that us we'll leave our conversation here we're happy at least where you're standing it sounds like the, the weather is clear because anytime it threatens to rain we're now all praying from across the country uh, asking that god holds the rain or it should just be a very simple showers so Rastos, this guy at here. the moment if you can see it in the background 
very gloomy sky is about to rain oh. i must say um, and already you can see signs of it uh, oh. right now it's been like that for the past uh, seven days mm. every morning there's a gloomy sky the clouds are forming at the moment and any moment it can rain but let me add this piece of information uh, to you we are learning from anadmo uh, that a day in collaboration with the ghana health service will be uh, trying to release bodies uh, to families for burial uh, today. So we are working on that, and uh, as we get information, we'll let you know. So thank you very much. Please stay safe, at least for me, uh, and Erastus will be bringing us a lot more reports from Kumasi. That's our colleague, Erastus Asari Donko. We've got Miss Sunrise joining us uh, for Showbiz. is brought to us, Ketsi, awake purified water.